matter of approving the first reading, uh, a motion to approve the first reading of an amendment to the Code of Ordinances, Chapter 2, Administration, Article 3, Division 3, Standards of Conduct, motion by Councilman Brandon Yass, supported by Councilman Johnson. All those in favor say yes. Yes. All those opposed say no. Yes, it's had. Motion carried. Mr. Rex. Item 6.2 is a motion to approve the second amendment of the purchase agreement between the City of Taylor and Soar Restaurants, LLC, to extend the due diligence period of 120 days from the effective date for the sale and the purchase of parcels of 60-026-02-0075-03-00, 60-026-02-0076-300, and 60-026-02-0077-300. Is there a motion? <laughs> by Councilman Wynn, supported by Councilman Johnson. I will say, uh, going forward, Mr. Mayor, anytime we have uh, yeah, I should uh, said uh, numbers like that, right. I, I started it, so I just went. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll joke inside. Is there any discussion on this item? Mr. Chairman, just want to give some kudos real quick um, to the Planning Department, Laura and Caitlin, uh, Tim Keyes, Dan Mazura, uh, they really worked hard with MDOT. This was a matter of getting an entrance off of Telegraph. Um, there was some issues with the way the, uh, where the, the building of the uh, pawn shop is that they were talking about possibly making an entrance and exit off of the side street. So um, with their due diligence and stuff, it looks like that, that's the reason that they requested the 120 days. But it looks like we've all come to an agreement on this location and they're going to have their entrance and exit off of Telegraph. So it, is it public knowledge to state it, what, it's, what the corporation It is pretty much public knowledge that this is going to be a Senate. Senate. I can tell you that this is going to be a Senate or Sonic restaurant. Not Sonic. So we already have a Senate. So a Sonic restaurant, yes. <laughs> all right. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. Oh, no. Yes, it's had motion carried. Mr. Mayor, the next one's easier to read. Yes. Mm -hmm. Item 6.3 is a motion to approve Downriver Body Works low bid to repair police vehicle 2022 Chevy Tahoe number X-4 for an amount not to exceed $4,814. And this is funded through general fund police repair and maintenance. Motion support. Motion by Councilman Brandana, supported by Councilman. Daniels, is there any discussion? All right, since we don't have a, a study session, I'm going to, we've got three items on the agenda uh, here uh, today for body repair, uh, which equates up to nearly $20,000. It appears for at least three different incidences with Chevy Tahoes. Um, are we finding that the repairs on the, I mean, they're expensive vehicles. Uh, in terms of historical repair rates for other vehicles, are we finding that then the repair rates are that much higher? We, through the chair, yes, we are. And um, moving forward, we're looking at a different style of vehicle. Um, I believe uh, Mr. Admission, what, not positive, which vehicle we're looking at possibly moving to in the future. Um, well, it's, more of, it's more of like tires, brake pads, you know, stuff that we're recently, or that we're regularly repairing, that we're seeing more of the increases on the regular stuff. So, I mean, all repairs are expensive, so we try to minimize that, and anytime it's regarding a chase or something like that, we definitely go after the people that are causing this. But just the, the routine maintenance is what we're seeing the increase on some of these vehicles, so we are looking at going in a different direction with some of the vehicles. Um, so as far as, as far as the body, uh, body work, it's expensive across the board because of all the airbag safety features and stuff they're equipped now with, with all brands, but um, every turn out of the loop, it's just more expensive to repair. Um, as far as the routine maintenance stuff, routine maintenance stuff, it's different on every vehicle. You know, we had different vehicles before with engine issues. This, this is brake issues that we're going to be breaking 
in favor say yes. Yes. All the opposed say no. The yes is had. Motion carried. See if you'd like to find uh, firefighters in the back if you'd like to come forward uh, as the mayor um, uh, has a motion for proclamation. But I invite every single firefighter. Chairman, do you want me to read the motion before? Please. Okay, item 6.4 is a motion to receive and file a proclamation honoring fire medic James Zuber. Motion. Support. Motion by Council Witten, supported by Council Zanna. Mr. Mayor, if you'd like to read the full proclamation. Sure. This is a proclamation honoring fire medic James Zuber. Whereas on July 28th, the fire department was dispatched to a possible water rescue of an autistic 14-year-old boy in the retention pond located at the Wayne County Community College complex. The victim's mother was on scene and called 911 due to not being able to get her son from the pond. And whereas upon arrival to the scene, units found the mother standing on the shore pointing to approximately 15 to 20, 30 feet out into the retention pond, the area of the pond where the child was found had depths of approximately 10 feet. The mother stated her son had been in the water for around two hours and she was feared he was running out of energy. The crew was unsuccessful in trying to call out to him in an attempt to coax him back into shore. After multiple failed attempts of coaxing the child out of the water, fire medic Zuber selflessly, selflessly, selflessly and without hesitation entered the water and swam to the child. Once Zuber reached the child, he attempted multiple times to talk the child into returning to shore. And whereas, Zuber then came up with the brilliant idea of offering a piggyback ride. He told the child he would be a dolphin and give him a ride back to shore. Zuber began swimming back to shore with the child and was able to get him out of the water. Zuber's, hu Zuber's heroic behavior and quick thinking went well above and beyond the normal everyday actions of a firefighter. The child then was reunited with his mother uninjured. Now therefore let it be proclaimed that the mayor, the city council, and elected officials of the city of Taylor do hereby proclaim that fire medic James Hooper to be recognized for his heroic actions. Cheese. 